So, continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a LR Kid Boo coming in from Dunstick. And I'm pretty sure I've read a couple of Dunn's cards in the past. So, before I go ahead and read the message inside the email as well as get to the LR Kid Boo, go ahead and send me custom cards to phdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I can go ahead and review a custom card in the near future, as well as uh, me getting through all these older cards. You guys know the gist. He sent me a, a multiple amount of cards and I just write it down and blah, blah, blah. If you guys have been keeping up with this series that I have been going on daily, uh, you guys already know I just write down your name and then write down the cards I need to do. So, with that being said, Dunn says, this is like my seventh unit I've submitted, and I'm pretty sure I've read a couple of your cards in the past because your name does look familiar. All right, so he also says inside the message for the email, I'm probably going to keep making units that are very slightly unique in how they're used. I do like that. Boo is basically the slot two unit. Uh, works fine in the three, but I don't know why you float him off. Goku is basically LR Golden Frieza with how he slowly gets weaker as the fight goes on. Makes sense. Um, I read it as makes sense because, but it says makes sense. He's Super Saiyan 3, which does that. It doesn't say makes sense because he... Hey, I just put my own words into it. <laughs> so, with that being said, uh, Dunn, thank you for sending me in your card. Let's go ahead and take a look at what Kid Boo is looking like. Uh, I gotta put myself at the top for this one because... Yeah, this is a wider page. I mean, I could zoom out, but hey, I mean, I want the text to be clear on the screen. So, um, this art right here, I actually went ahead and looked up uh, LR Kid Boo PNG. So, seriously, shout out to Dokkan Deity on, uh, I'm pretty sure it's DeviantArt, that's how you say it. Shout out to him. I'm going to leave a link to his PNG down below. I very usually leave png credits down below in the description so it's not like i'm not crediting these people that create these pngs and like upscale them and do all this other stuff i usually always do it like if i don't do it it's mostly because i forget because i just upload um i just upload do little comments i promote the little video on like uh discord and uh twitter or x if you want to call it i mean it is x because they changed the domain name but i still call it twitter who cares uh <laughs> Let's go ahead and read this um this LR Kid Boo. So unkillable demon boo kid. He is extreme SDR. And this is our word, of course. Shout out to Dokkan Deity again because he does shout him out right up here because he says art belongs to Dokkan Deity. Dude is phenomenal. Shout out to Dokkan Deity. Because I'm using his uh art inside the thumbnail for today's video. So his leader skill is Majin Power, Artificial Life Forms, or Legendary Existence for key and 200% across the board. And do keep in mind that Dunn said inside the uh, the uh, message for the email that this guy is the slot two unit. Okay, so his passive unkillable monster activates interest animation once only, and he raises attack and defense by 25% for the rest of the battle when there is a pure Saiyans, hybrid Saiyans, Earthlings, Fuse Fighters, or Realm of Gods category enemy. That's one, two, three, four, five specific type of enemies that you can go up against to get this interest animation buff off of him just getting a free 25% attack and defense for the rest of the battle. That is nice. He also gets four key and 100% attack and defense at the start of turn. And he raises attack by 25% per attack received up to 250%. Wow, so he wants to take hits to build up all of his attack. That's massive, 250% attack. So, like, around the time, like, uh, you're in the middle of the fight and he just builds up all his attack, he's going to be hitting, like, a nuclear bomb, right? Okay, so, raises defense by 4% per attack performed up to 200%. Wow, 4% is pretty low. He does have to do a, lot, a bunch of attacks, right? I'm going to assume he has a bunch of uh, additional attack into a super attack chance. Okay, so he's a feather against all types after performing 30 or more attacks in battle. All right. And all attacks become critical hits when taking the eighth attack in battle. Okay. He also launches two additional super... No, excuse me. I read that as two additional super attacks. He launches two additional attacks per Majin Power category ally on the team each of which that have a rare chance at becoming a super attack. Is a rare chance like 10 or 15%? I think it's like 10 or 15. I think it's either one of those numbers. I don't completely remember. But just to reread that part of his passive, he launches two additional attacks that uh, both have a rare chance to become a super attack per Majin Power category ally on the team. Interesting. All right. 
And he also recovers 7% HP at the end of the turn when receiving an attack. So, of course, that makes sense because he's a, a blue unit. Recovers 7% HP at the start of turn when there are two other Majin Power or Artificial Life Forms characters on the turn. So, I mean, you're, you're most likely going to be running a full Majin Power, like artificial life forms team right legendary exists is not really too many options on there but artificial life forms and modern power absolutely uh and uh, he also launches an additional attack per attack received by this character or an ally each with a rare chance at becoming a super attack interesting we're gonna have to come back and read those two parts of the card where he gets those chances of uh getting those super attacks he also gets no, he doesn't get anything. He uh, gives Majin Power, Category Allies, excluding this character, of course, 25% attack and defense, and an additional 25% attack and defense if they are artificial life forms characters. And he also has a 70% chance to nullify unarmed super attacks direct at this character, encountering it with tremendous power. So he does have a nullification and plus 25% chance at additionals becoming a super attack when all allies on the team are artificial life forms or Majin Power. So yes, you pretty much want a, Mar a Majin Power slash artificial life forms team, pretty much. He re revives with 20% HP when this character is KO'd during the turn in which this character has not attacked or has attacked and launched less than four super attacks. This card can revive indefinitely as long as it meets the conditions. What? This is a card, this card is picking apart my brain. Okay, so now this is starting to make a lot more sense where he gets 4% defense up to 100% per attack performed because he launches two additional attacks per Majin Power category ally on the team, each of which having a 10 or 15% chance of coming super attack. I don't remember what rare is. I think it's 10 or 15, it's either or. And... He also, he has another one too. He has another additional super attack chance right over here. Yeah, this right here. He also launches an additional attack per attack received by this character or an ally, each with a rare chance of them becoming a super attack. So he gets additional attacks that have a chance of becoming a super attack when the ally takes a hit. So this guy does want to sit inside slot too. Absolutely, like uh, Dunn said. Interesting. This is some like next level galaxy brain design and it makes sense that he can revive indefinitely because i mean it's kid boo i mean it's a, a boo unit so like he just gets hit by something you know explodes and then just regenerates back together because i mean come on he's a Majin boo character <laughs> now i'm gonna reread where is it the revival part of his kit of course he's a support type unit too um he revives with 20 percent hp when this character is KO during the turn in which his character has not attacked or has attacked and launched less than four supers. Interesting. Or has attacked and... Oh, so... Okay. So he... Hmm. Reviving indefinitely. Interesting. So is that launching less than four super attacks within the... Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, I, I overlooked it during the turn. So he really could revive indefinitely. So he can revive as much as he wants, provided it's within the conditions. He can do as many attacks that all, of course, have a chance to become a super attack as he really wants, provided you're running this full team. He is a support type unit. He easily builds up attack. Uh, wow. He also gets, he has guaranteed crits built into him, provided he takes the eight attack in battle. And of course, he has a feather missile ties built into him too, with 30 or more attack, bro. You are not 30 or more attacks. That's probably when you finish, uh, I mean, building up this defense. Sure. God damn. Okay. Interesting card. I, I like this. I like cards that like, this is something I really like. Seriously. I, cause it picks apart my brain. Like, wow. I would have, I mean, it, hmm, Dokkan would never do this though. A, a card that revives indefinitely. So yeah, this is certainly interesting. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to edit it <laughs> anyways uh so his super attack for his 12 key brutal cannon is a strike based super he gains 30 percent attack for one turn does colossal massively lowers defense and has a rare chance to disable enemy action while getting three percent damage reduction okay 
and his 18 key super, the Seasless Assault, it's also a strike based super, he gains 50% attack for 3 turns, does mega colossal damage to enemy and greatly lowers their attack and defense as well as gets 7% damage reduction for that turn. So he double supers, bro, wait, so you get lucky and this guy's doing all these supers from where this part of his passive? Where uh, the, where he takes the hits or an ally takes the hits for him to get those additional attacks to have a chance to go on super attack. He's he's interesting because he does multiple supers and he's just getting damage reduction after damage reduction after damage reduction. Now, granted, he gets that first 7% damage reduction. Let's say that this guy goes bananas. It's like, I don't like five plus supers. And he gets like this additional 3% more uh, damage reduction each time he stacks on top of each other. Man. <laughs> I don't know. This character could probably do like 20 supers. <laughs> Not literally, but you know, I'm just throwing it out there. So, um, his active skill, Relentless Taunting, reduces damage received by all allies by 15% for the rest of the battle. Launches two additional attacks that both have a 70% chance to come a super attack for the rest of the battle and increases damage this character takes by 20 percent for the rest of the battle so he's giving damage reduction to the entire team super strong ability for an active skill by the way um what the hell wait hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. pause so let me go back to this part of his card right where is it it is right over here no it's right over where is it it's right over here where he launches two additional attacks per Majin Cow, uh, Majin Cow, excuse me, <laughs> Majin Power, where he launches two additional attacks per Majin Power category ally on a team, but that all have a rare chance to come a super. So just, you know, by fair assessment, let me just pull up my calculator. So I, I just am going to assume that it doesn't say self-excluded. Let's go ahead and count him. So for free, he launches two, two additional attacks of, that will both have a rare chance to come a super, right? Let me just real quick pull out my calculator. So six characters on your team, you're going to do, obviously, you're going to do two times six. So that's pretty much, uh, so he's going to do 12 attacks that all have a rare chance to become a super. Including himself, of course, because, of course, he's a modern power character. And it doesn't say self excluded He would ex explicitly put it. Um... Better yet, even if that's not what it means, he's still doing up to 10 additionals. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I didn't even need my calculator. I didn't need <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> so let's, let's just include it, include him just for fun of it. Him including himself and the rest of the team, that's 12 additional attacks that will have a rare chance to become a super. Okay. And he also has more additional super attack chance right over here, provided this character takes hits as well as the ally takes hits. So if the ally, of course, being a slot one unit, takes a bunch of hits, then depending on those amount of hits, those will be additional attacks that have a chance to come a super. I like this design. I love this design a lot. And it makes a whole lot of sense that he's gaining attack on super because it's Kid Boo. He's, I mean, come on now. He's relentlessly attacking. It makes sense. Like, ceaseless assault brutal cannon okay um and then he just gives damage reduction to the entire team meanwhile increasing the damage he's taking himself because it says increases damage his character takes by 20 percent for the rest of the battle but i'm pretty sure the dead the the boss is dead by then i mean he's pretty much dead all right uh the act skill conditions is uh can be activated when this character takes 10 or more attacks in battle for this character that's that's okay i mean because he this character wants to take hits to build up his attack right he where is it so he does yeah he wants to take hits to build up his attack so it makes a whole lot of sense he takes 10 hits it is a lot 10 hits is a lot but i mean it makes sense considering this card's uh you know this card's kit or when this character performs 60 attacks in battle or starting from the fourth turn from the first appearance of this character when all allies on the team are Majin power or artificial life form. So these conditions, 60 attacks is brutal. 
But if you, but it still makes sense considering that this character can launch 12 additionals. Or if you don't want to count this character as an ally, he can launch up to 10 additionals. And of course, he can do more if your ally is taking hits in the first slot because those, all the, the hits that your ally takes are, they're all additional attacks that have a chance to come a super. So if this guy has an ally in the first slot who takes, I don't know, like eight hits, um, guess what? That's eight additional attacks that all have a chance to come a super just from his ally taking hits. I mean, what? <laughs> Bro, and he supports, he has a nullification. Um, he could be effective against all types, guaranteed crits, gets damage reduction on both his 12 and 18 key super attack effects. He's going to be hitting really hard because his 18 key is getting a multi-turn attack buff while greatly lowering attack inside his, his 18 key too, which is obviously nice. So he's debuffing on that, on that front. He's also giving uh, damage reduction support on top of his already up to 50% attack and defense from Majin Power and Artificial Life Forms. Like if you're within uh, both those categories, if, you, if you're on the Maja Power slash Artificial Life Forms, you're getting 50% attack and defense and 15% damage reduction. That's good. Who gives a shit about the key? Because I'm pretty sure that these Maja Power characters are going to be sitting next to each other just fine. Okay. Um. And crazy enough, this is doable outside of the 60 attacks, but everything else is doable. Like fourth turn from start of battle with a Majin Power or Artificial Life Forms character, easy. This character taking 10 hits, you're going to easily get this. Absolutely. Because... This guy, well, could you easily get this? Considering the, what type of card this is, you can definitely get this. You definitely could. And his links, Majin, Brutal Beatdown, More Than Meets the Eye, Big Bad Bosses, Infinite Regeneration, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. These are his categories as shown, and these are his stats. I'll give you guys a second to pause if you want to do all the math and see all the build up and stuff. That's just, just in case any of my stat junkies or my APT numbers people are watching, uh, there's the stats. So, I've pretty much put this card into a nutshell. I mean, damage. Oh, he also recovers HP. I forgot to say that. He's recovering HP too. 7% right over here. And, of course, an additional 7% right over here. But it's within the same condition. Why do I keep typing things on the side? Dev, like, right, 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 right down there. Dev, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. So, um, that's about it. Uh, w card. I'm done. I appreciate you for sending in your card. Uh, guys, remember, if you want to go and send me custom cards, send them over to bhdevcustomcards.gmail.com so I can go ahead and get to your card in the future, as well as uh, you guys, you know, watching me get all these older cards out the way. If you send me multiple cards, I write about on my notepad, and I'll get back to it in a form of a live stream or a long video. So that's really about it. Join the 24-7 Discord server, by the way. Hey, the 24-7 Discord server is where it's at. And you guys like my shirt? I've worn this shirt quite a few times. I'm not gonna lie. I love this shirt. I have other Dragon Ball shirts too, like a GT one, a Super one, a Z one, Cell Saga, of course. Um, and then of course the Super one. All right, uh, but uh, that's gonna be about it. I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. And I'll catch you guys next video. And I absolutely love you all. Thank you for watching. Peace.